Welcome back to another vlog. I told you guys I was gonna be consistent, so here I am. Rage Nation, how you guys doing? I need your help. Before we get started with today's vlog, I need you guys to go down below in the comments and give me some video ideas that you guys wanna see on this channel, whether it's music, whether it's food color challenges, whether it's something that I've never done before, I'm always down to try new things. So yeah, anyways, change of scenery. You guys see the plaque back there. I haven't been in this area to vlog or make videos in a very long time. You guys remember the Christmas tree that I unboxed like my, my, um, my birthday presents and stuff? You know, my birthday is actually coming up very soon, so I'm really excited. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do for my birthday, but hey, another year of life, and that's something, you know, I can already celebrate. I'm about to be 27, guys. Oh my gosh, at the end of this year, I'm gonna be 27. But you know what? We celebrate every single year. Anyways, we got a new package in the mail. I'm gonna go ahead and check it out, what we got today. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see what we got in the mail. What is this? Strawberry? Kai Bentley. Um, he made a clothing brand and I wanted to check out the quality so I bought this uh, bowling tee or bowling uh, shirt uh, to see what it would look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and we'll see how the quality is. Like the quality is already really good. It was kind of pricey. I don't own any piece of clothing like this so um, Put it on. It's actually really comfortable. What do you guys think? You guys let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of this shirt. Like it, I think I think it honestly fits really nicely. If you guys wanna go check it out, hit the links down below. Not sponsored, by the way. I just wanna, you know, see the quality. It's pretty nice, I like it. You know what, I'm gonna keep it on. I'm gonna keep it on for the rest of the video. There's a little straw tag right there too. Man, it's so comfy. But today, I wanted to talk about my addictive personality. So some of you guys might know this already. I've made plenty of videos over on my other channels and stuff, but you know, this channel, I want to like reintroduce myself, you know, let you guys know who I am as a person. You know, the, the, the person behind Rage Elixir is Gary, and I want you guys to know who I am as a person. And you know, don't be alarmed by the title. I know you guys see like, oh, he's an addict. He has an addiction. That's a really bad thing. I'm addicted to things that you know, or a piece of my childhood or like things that I couldn't get when I was a child. Um, so I, I buy it now. Um, for example, like I've made videos on this before, like this, this right here was what started my gaming career. This Game Boy SP, this clamshell design Game Boy that was actually gifted to me, not this exact one, but this exact color and everything. Um, this was gifted to me by my older cousin and his family and you know I had no exposure to like gaming uh, handhelds or anything like that before I received this I remember the day I came home from school and my brother came out of the came out of the house he was like look look brother I got a Game Boy I was like wait what it's mine now and I snatched it from him and he never saw it again I'm just kidding we kind of shared it well he was really young so at the time he didn't really know how to play the games he actually deleted um, you guys know Tim right my little brother he actually deleted a save file on Pokemon and it made me so angry that's like <laughs> that's like a piece of my memory that I remember um, but shout out to Tim guys I you know, I know you guys want him to upload again, but you know, he's really busy. So hopefully you guys see another video from him uh, very, very soon. But I love collecting like, you know, handhelds like this. We got the Nintendo, the new Nintendo 3DS, probably one of my favorite devices that I own. I also have been buying like random 3DSs with like different arts and prints. This was my first 3DS that I bought, uh, you know. I just love collecting stuff like this. Now this right here, I got this, um, and if you guys take a look right here, the stylus is actually poking out. I don't know why I did this, but I put a piece of like tissue paper inside of this. I don't know why I did that, and now the stylus won't go all the way in. Don't know why I did that. Kid Gary was different, man. Kid Gary was on something, that's for sure. If you guys thought that was it, you're wrong. 
<laughs> I also bought like random Game Boy SPs off of like eBay and stuff. Got these little emulators. It, it's, it's an endless cycle, guys. Like when I get into something, I'm telling you, I really get into something. We got this Game Boy Micro. Bro, that's not even it. You guys, you guys have to understand my addictive personality extends even further. It's not even Game Boys and stuff like that. There's more that I want to show you guys. But if you guys come over to my gaming setup, I have a brand new display. Um, so we have a custom Game Boy SP that was actually gifted to me by a retro console uh, company that I uh, you know made a video for a long time ago, maybe like a year ago. This one's really cool. I cherish this to this day. I love this. Probably one of the coolest Game Boys or coolest piece of tech that I've ever gotten. We got this Game Boy S, uh, Game Boy Advance, but it has a modded screen. So usually this thing right here, uh, it would have like a dull screen. It's like a front lit screen, so it's not bright, but this has a modded screen. So it's backlit. It's really, really cool. So there you guys have it. We got this Game Boy Advance over here. Oh no, no, the stand. Okay, and I also got this PSP Go because during my childhood, I really wanted a PSP, so I bought one of these. Very cool. Now this, these right here, I bought these recently because, you know, the first anime that I ever watched was Digimon Frontiers when I was like five years old, and I remember these devices from the anime to this day. You know, they might be very, very old tech, but I love it. And if you guys don't know anything about Digimon Frontiers, it's really cool, look it up. Hopefully that gives you guys a little perspective of like who I am as a person when I really get into something. For example, yo-yos. I remember back in like kindergarten, um, this guy, this pro yo-yo guy came into the school and you know, they, they started doing tricks and afterwards they started selling yo-yos. All these kids were getting yo-yos for like $10 and my uncle was like, sorry kid, I'm not getting you a yo-yo. And since that day, I was like, you know what? When I'm older, I'm gonna get a yo-yo myself. And uh, I kind of went crazy like two years ago when I first bought this house and you know, everyone was quarantining inside the house, couldn't even leave. So I got bored and I got into yo-yos. Let me see if I can even do tricks to this day. Hold on, um, let, me, let me zoom it out. All right, let's see if I can still do tricks. I tried learning as many tricks as possible, but I did my research too. So something cool about these yo-yos is that it's hub stack. So you can literally pull it like this and it's spinning. So you can go like this, boom. Oh no, there we go. I'm telling you guys, man, when I get addicted, I really get addicted. There's a few tricks for you guys. Um, hopefully that was impressive enough. You guys thought that was it? As I got older and as I you know, started making YouTube money, and I'm not trying to flex or anything like that, but I started going a little out of control buying clothes and stuff. But I promise you guys, I'm, I'm a lot more tame now. I don't really buy myself like too much clothes, only when I need it, or shoes. Now, let me show you guys how out of control I went. I'm just trying to teach you guys like not to go crazy, you know? When you first start making money or like when you first start getting a job and stuff, I promise you guys it's not worth, you know, just going crazy. Um, and having control is a good thing because now look at this. Look at all these shoes that I have like, all right, these are my first pair of Jordan ones. Very, very cool. We got, you know, shoes, 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 so many shoes. We got like, 10, 12 pairs of shoes, right? That's not it. Look at this. I'm telling you guys, I went crazy. There's like, I don't know, like 30, 40 pairs of shoes right here. And guess what? I'm gonna have to be honest. I wear like maybe five of them on a regular basis. Obviously I can choose out of all of them. But to be honest, I wear this half the time when I go grocery shopping. So. I'm just trying to let you guys know not to go too crazy, not to go out of control when you start making a little bit. But with that being said, you guys let me know if you guys wanna see like an updated uh, shoe collection video or something like that, if you guys are interested. But the reason why I'm making this video is to just 
talk to you guys and you know just reminisce on the good old times when I first moved into this house. Like I feel like times were way more simpler. It wasn't just like, oh, I have to film this, I have to do this. It was just very free flowing. I would just make whatever content that came to mind and whatever I thought would be fun for you guys to watch, I would make that type of content. But nowadays, I just feel like I'm forcing myself to make videos and I don't want that. I wanna go back to the times where, you know, we were just having a great time, just building a community, the Rage Nation, just having a blast, just making content that I wanna, wanna make. Uh, for example, I would just, you know, go out into the streets and, uh, you know, buy, buy food of one color only, and you guys seem to enjoy those. It was literally just a day in my life, but forcing myself to eat only one color food, and you guys really enjoyed that. So I wanna try to stay as consistent as possible with the content. Some days are gonna be off days, like this one right here. I just wanna be able to reintroduce myself and talk to you guys as me, as a person. But soon, we're gonna get the ball rolling and make content that you, know, that you guys would enjoy, but also at the same time, it's really fun for me to make too. I just wanna be in front of the camera and just you know, show you guys what it's like. Um, to be a YouTuber and just to have fun um, and not take life too seriously, you know? Maybe in the future, if I buy a new house, we can start a series basically designing a empty house from scratch. And I think that would be really fun, but who knows, only time will tell. But I'm just here to talk to you guys and, you know, just share my thoughts. I'm, I'm just really, I just really miss the simple times, you know? I sat here, opened up gifts that my friends gave me, and it was a great time. I miss collaborating with friends, and you know, if they ever visit my house again, we're definitely gonna be making content. We have to, we have to. That, that's one thing I hate about getting older, because you have more responsibilities, and you know, it's different, man. It's been four years since I moved into this house, so obviously things are gonna change. But at, the, but at the end of the day, I'm just really thankful for you guys, man. One thing I need to get addicted to again is making content, man. Like, I just need to, you know, get back into the kitchen and just chop it up, just make cooking videos again. You know, just grab this camera. It doesn't even need to be this camera, but I just need to become a content machine again. I just didn't think that, you know, this year would be the year that I get addicted to distractions. So throughout my life, I've had some games that have taken over my life. There, there's there been RuneScape, you know, like growing up, you know, I would play a ton of RuneScape, like even during class. I am a very, very bad role model to look at when it comes to like staying focused and stuff. I wouldn't do too well in middle school and high school just because I was so distracted by anime and like RuneScape during class. I would be playing, I would be playing RuneScape during class. That is so bad. Like. I'm a very, sm I would say I'm a very smart student. Like in college, I basically got all A's, 100%. Just because I wasn't super distracted, you know? Throughout high school, I was addicted to League of Legends and I didn't think I would be distracted like that ever again. But here we are, 2023, the beginning of this year, January, I decided to give Valorant a try and that game basically took over my life. So I'm slowly trying to get away from that again, you know, trying to get away from that addiction because one thing that brings me joy is seeing you guys happy, seeing you guys enjoy my content. And lately, I've noticed that you guys noticed that I haven't been enjoying making the content I've been making and you guys haven't been enjoying like the quality of my videos and it's becoming repetitive over and over again. So I gotta change it up, man. YouTube is all about growth. It's all about, or just content creating in general, it's all about growth because so many new people are coming into the you know space and you have to just keep, you know, just changing it up. You got you got to keep innovating and making new types of content, new styles of content. You got to keep making yourself different from everyone else. And it's so, so hard to always continue, keep changing and, and all that. But, you know, it keeps things exciting for me. I just hope that I'm still able to be the Rage Elixir, the comfort uh, YouTuber in your life to go to when you guys are bored. I just want to be able to be that person to just 
What was that? I don't know. That was weird. But anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in today's video. I just want to become a content machine again. Pump out lots and lots of videos for you guys, the Rage Nation. So I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. If you guys want to see more videos like this, you guys know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.